Today I'm very happy to share with you some of the vast range of safety systems we have in Volkswagen cars. They're going to range from how to count airbags, how important it is to wear safety, uh, seat belts in a car, correct seating position, a static and dynamic cornering light, how that is an active safety system, anti-lock braking system, under anti-lock braking system, that also encompasses brake assist and electronic brake force distribution. Not to forget, important, is child safety in a car. We're going to talk about isofix location. So in this particular car, let me start. The first airbag is in the driver's section, inside the steering wheel itself. It uh, comes up to about this size and about this far. That's the first airbag. The second airbag is for the front passenger. The third airbag is known, also known as a side airbag or thorax airbag. These are located inside the seats. These are designed to protect the driver from side impact. And they will deploy to about this size and this wide. I'd like to share with you where the air curtains are located and where they come out. As you can see, there are logos here here and to the rear in the, the rear pillar of the car. This does not denote that there are three separate airbags. This is one air curtain, we count it as one. It, how it comes out? It comes out from the top to the bottom in one sheet. So as I said, the seatbelt use is critical. Um, it's, it's designed in conjunction with all the airbag systems. So it's totally recommended at all times to wear the seatbelt when you are driving. The final part to get an optimum seating position is your headrest height. Your headrest height cannot be too high or too low. In fact, it should be the same height at the top of your head. In a, in a frontal collision, the airbags may deploy. This seat belt has uh, re automatic retractors. In critical frontal collisions, the seat belt will pull you back. The other part I was wanting to talk about was the dynamic cornering light. This is featured on cars with bi and lights, in this case the Golf Mark 7. This is a fantastic system which allows the main beam, as I'm pointing to now, it actually can swivel up to 15 degrees left or right, depending on steering position. This allows the customer to see round corners in almost pitch black situation. How, they, how does ABS work? ABS works by using wheels, it has four wheel speed sensors, one on each, each wheel, and it measures the minute any of the wheel speed sensors stop, it actually releases that wheel again. So in critical braking situations, it will give you full steering control whilst being able to be on full brakes. One thing I'd like to share with you, which we're very proud, proud with at Volkswagen, is Isofix mounting points. It's a safer system because uh, child, child uh, seating and safety in cars is of utmost importance now. It's going to be law legislation very, very soon. Here we are. I'd like to show you how easy it is to put an ISOFIX seat into the mounting points. Here we go. That's it. Done. And it's as secure as you like. So maybe the issue or the important issue to understand in ESP is it's based on ABS system. with the sensoric, making sure that basically all wheels at every time are under control. Mm -hmm. uh, on the ESP, you have an additional sensoric, so that's mm -hmm. like a next level beyond mm -hmm. ABS, mm -hmm. where the sensoric within the vehicle gives you an indication mm -hmm. whether the vehicle is properly steering according to the direction of the steering wheel. Okay. So for instance, uh, what you see here is that there is a steering mechanism that basically makes sure that the vehicle is following the proper direction of the steering wheel. Pre-safe basically based on the first tensioning of the seatbelt when you get into the car and you start the engine will remember that ideal position and automatically by tensing then the seatbelt pull you back into the optimum position. So basically what happens in this case, a driver is tired, has been driving for quite some while already and then basically uh, the system notices that um, something is not properly working. 
uh, see for instance that the car in front of him is braking, he's not paying attention. And when the system notices that the car in front of us is approaching by braking faster than your own car, it will engage up to a certain speed automatically the brakes while at the same time maintaining the steerability of the vehicle. See here for instance it minimizes the braking distance mm -hmm. um, and it leaves the steerability still intact. Um, at the same time when it for instance notices that now an impact is imin imminent mm -hmm. then it will engage all the necessary measures to put the customer or the driver into the proper position. This is intelligent drive this basically just shows in one vehicle mm -hmm. we have now a multitude of a precaution system. Yeah. Traditional systems beforehand did not, were not able to detect uh, somebody coming from the side because the angle of the camera was not wide enough. So intelligent drive is really something that takes all kind of driving conditions into consideration. See when the camera came out we had before a look for instance at the night vision. Okay. Uh, that's a system that is radar based mm. and enables the driver in fog in uh, very poor light conditions to really see ahead and detect mm. any kind of objects uh, on the road and being able to identify also what it is. Because then all these active systems around you, whether that's airbags, um, whether that is the repositioning of the, of the steering wheel and of the, of the seat rest, all of these things can only play their role properly if the driver is properly 